welcome back to Mia's Life. Today I'm going to be doing a video that lots and lots of you guys have requested. And I'm going to be doing a video on how I curl my hair. I've got all my products that I use here, all the stuff I need and use. So without further ado, let's just get straight on to the video. So Mia Corns, the first thing that I do is I turn on my hair colours. And the hair colours that I use are by Babyliss, if that's how you say it. And I just, I actually like to turn these up to the hottest power, which is 210 degrees. So that's quite hot. And I just like to put them on a safe thing. You don't want to put them like onto anything soft that or like anything that could burn or like catch fire because that would not be good me con. So the next thing I like to do is just to brush my hair while my hair colours are heating up. So what I like to do now is I like to try and section off my fringe. Now if you guys aren't growing out a fringe you guys probably won't need to do this but I am currently growing out my fringe and it is extremely annoying me a corn. Look guys have I shown you how long it is now? It's like touching my lips it's like almost up to my chin so it's quite long <laughs> and i like to just tie that up out of the way with a hairband and yes i know i have just made myself a unicorn horn <laughs> there you go mere corn so i've got my little unicorn horn and now i'm going to brush my hair again and i'm going to be doing even more sectioning so what i like to do is i like to actually make myself have a set center parting which um i wouldn't actually naturally wear it like this but it's just the way I like to curl my hair. So now I like to um, separate this part into two pieces. So it's like a top layer and like the bottom layer of my hair. Um, it doesn't really matter too much about like the partners and stuff. This is just like my separation time, which is what I spend most of my time when I'm curling my hair doing, just separating my hair. I'm gonna get another hairband, tie that up. Now I am going to do that on the other side. Oops, this sometimes happens, they sometimes fall out. But I'm going to be getting one of these little things. I actually only have one of them, like I should have two. It came in a packet of two, but I don't know where my other one's gone. I'm not entirely sure where this is from either. I got it a long while ago. But yeah, this just fell out again. Sometimes I have to do it like more than once, just to... So now Mia Corns, I've gone from a unicorn to a rhino. You see Mia Corns, this is my rhino look. So I'm just gonna make sure this is like a pretty good like center part and in the middle like this Mia Corns. It depends on like the thickness of your hair and stuff because before I did curl my mum's hair and her hair's like a lot thinner than mine and she didn't want like super big curls whereas i like really tight like little curls but she just wanted like the more natural like more wavier like softer curls so i just i didn't even section her hair i just went around and did all of it for her but obviously if someone else is doing your hair for you if you or if you like if one of you guys are doing it for someone else it's a lot easier to do and i feel like you don't need to section it like quite as much as like as much as i do but when you're doing it to yourself it's more difficult and yeah because you only have two hands and one hand's to hold the curler and the other one's to wrap the hair around <laughs> so now my hair colors are like super super hot so this is now like super super hot so i cannot touch these and i'm just going to get a little section of my hair like this thick mere corns i mean it depends on the thickness of your hair how much you want to do but i also quite like my curls quite small and springy so i'm actually just going to put that like behind there so it doesn't get mixed up with the curly bits and i'm just going to wrap this around and it depends on your hair type and just like the thickness and everything and like if you've dyed it a lot and if it's damaged how long you leave it on but i like to leave mine on for like 20 seconds which i know is quite long but my hair is like really like tough and it's like really healthy so i find if i leave it on any less than that then like it just won't work 1920 and now i just like to let it go and there we go Mia Corns. we have our first little ringlet our first little curl so now i like to go back to my pile and i like to get another little piece of hair similar sort of size what i tend to do is as i go further back i'll tend to like right at the back of my head because this is like only the underneath layer like this bit here is quite important because you will see that but like underneath at the back here you won't really see it so i tend to make it like do slightly bigger curls and grab slightly bigger sections because that way it's quicker so i'm just gonna wrap this around my curling wand once again there we go me of course here's our second little curl and now i'm just going to go all the way around my head and keep doing that and just keep doing that for all the way around so guys i've only got one more piece of hair left to do on the like underside of my hair so here we go mere corns i have 
have now done all of the underside of my hair so now this is like the main part of my hair done now the rest of my hair isn't really gonna take too long actually so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to undo one of my space buns i'm actually just going to split this into two and this one my back one i'm just going to flip over here so it's out of the way and this one i'm going to wrap around again into another bun and now i'm going to get this bit and i am going to just grab all my hair oh right you want to be careful now to sort out between your straight hair and your curly hair so you're going to get your curly hair and put that behind and now you're going to get your straight straight hair and you're just going to brush it so there's no knot and then you're just going to curl all of these bits so i'm going to start with the back piece now i'm going to curl this and then i'm just going to grab the curl that i just made and put that onto the other side of my head which is like the curly side and you want to be really careful not to get like any straight hair in your curly hair because if not it can be really annoying when you go through your hair when you're looking at your hair later and you find out there's a straight bit in the middle of all your curly bits it can be incredibly annoying so i just finished curling one half of my space bun now i'm going to curl the other half of my little bun so i'm just gonna brush that oh and guys i just realized that i totally forgot to put in my heat protector but i'm gonna show you the heat protector anyway guys just because just in case you want to know what products i use this is by knight and wilson and this is style freedom heat shield and this is just really helpful and you put this on before you curl your hair or dry your hair or whatever you want to do but yeah i kind of got that bit so oops so now what I'm going to do, me of course, is go and do the other space bun. And then basically, guys, we're almost going to be finished. Almost done. I really love doing this hairstyle. So, guys, I have finished curling all my hair now. And I'm still not finished, guys. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my fringe, which is going to be an absolute mess. I'm going to try and brush it so it looks a bit nicer. So I'm just going to get my hair and put that in my side parting and now i'm going to be getting my hairspray which is really super helpful and it makes my curls stay in a lot longer so the hairspray i use is from super drug it's just super drug own brand and just like to spray a bit of that in my curls like this and then i like to shake out my head a bit just because sometimes the curls can be like a bit i don't know how to describe it but i just it looks better when you shake it out i find sometimes so guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video this is my tutorial of how to curl my hair i absolutely love having my hair like this i wear it like this really really regularly i find it's a really nice look i don't know it takes quite a while but it doesn't take like a super super massive amount of time like it's worth it i feel like which i quite like also guys you're probably wondering who won the massive unicorn giveaway for me reaching 200k subscribers and guys i will comment down below the winner in the top comment so make sure to go down and scroll down the video and check the top comment if you entered and see who won i mean it might be you guys it could be any of you guys so many of you guys entered thank you so so much guys i think you're gonna really love it i can't wait to send this to one of you guys all my unicorn amazeball stuff i can't wait to send it to you thank you anyway guys hope you enjoyed watching this video if you haven't already make sure to click that big red shiny subscribe button i'll see you guys in my next video bye i love you Mwah.